What's up everybody, it's Max Digital here. In this video, I'm going to compare the Samsung Galaxy A32 5G on the left and the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G on the right. So the A32 5G is coming in at a lower price point. You can get that one in the $300 range and the A52 starting in the $500 range. So a difference of relatively around $200. The overall bigger device is going to be the A32 at a height of 6.4 inches versus the 6.3 inches on the a52 overall more uh, weight is going to be 7.23 ounces on the a32 6.6 .6 ounces on the a52 so the the cheaper device is also the bigger heavier device for the build quality they're both going to be a pretty much plastic build all around the sim card situation you're getting uh, dual sim card options on both of these devices since these are international phones um, you can have two different sim cards two different data plans two different phone numbers out of these two phones the a32 does not have the dust and water resistance the a52 5g does have ip67 dust and water resistance up to one meter submerged in water for 30 minutes for the displays, they're actually the exact same display uh, size at 6.5 inches. So you get a TFT display on the 32 and on the 52, you get Super AMOLED at 120 hertz refresh rate, which is pretty smooth. Also, the resolution is different. A32 is 720p HD screen. The A52 steps it up to 1080p uh, full HD screen. PPI is also 270 on the A32 5G versus the 407 PPI on the A52 5G. Screen to body ratio is uh, less on the 32, it's 81%. Uh, you get 84% on the A52 5G. So overall, you're getting a uh, better quality screen on the A52 with the refresh rate, with the PPI and the screen to body ratio. As far as the software goes, both of them have Android 11 on board with Samsung UI on top. And Samsung is doing a good job of updating their phones to the new, to newer software. So look for these two devices to be on board with newer software in the future. For the chipset and processor, the A32 goes with a MediaTek 725G chipset, which is not on the same class as Qualcomm. Qual uh, these uh, A52 5G has Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G 5G processor. For day-to-day -day activities, both of these processors will be fine for most apps and games, um, although the MediaTek is not going to be as powerful as the Qualcomm. When it comes to internal storage, the A32 5G has, starts off at 64 gigs, while the A52 5G st starts off at 128 gigs. So advantage A52 5G. Both of these phones can be expanded with a micro SD card slot, so that's good for both phones. As for the RAM, the A32 5G starts off at 4 gigs of RAM versus the 6 gigs of RAM on the A52 5G. Both of those amounts are pretty good, um, although the 6 gigabytes is going to be obviously better for running more apps in the background. But both of these uh, phones and processors should be good holding apps in the background, no problem, as long as you're not running a ton of apps. This is the camera system. Both of these phones have several cameras in the back. The A32 5G has a one, two, three, four camera setup, 48 megapixel main camera, eight megapixel ultra wide, five megapixel macro, two megapixel depth. The A52 5G also has four camera setup, 64 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, five megapixel macro, five megapixel depth camera. You can shoot 4K on both of these devices, which is pretty good. So apart from the uh, a few megapixels more on the a52 5g both of these phones are very capable uh pictures and videos you'll be very pleased with both of them although they are not even neither of these phones are flagship level quality one cool thing about these phones is that they both offer a headphone jack so you can connect your headphones your uh your mic or your car with an aux cord to listen to music so a very good option for both of these devices and if you have moved on to wireless and fully embraced it, both of these come equipped with Bluetooth 5.0, which is perfectly fine to connect your smartwatch, your smart band, your wireless headphones, speakers, all types of devices. So both of these devices are good. Both of these have NFC, depending on which market you're in, that's mostly used for Google Pay. 
or Samsung Pay or whatever uh, uh, option you use on your Android phone. If you use the standard USB Type-C port for charging, same versatile port that's used on a lot of other devices such as Chromebooks, MacBooks, uh, Windows PCs, Android tablets, iPads, pretty much a lot of devices are compatible with this underrated plug slash port. This is fingerprint security unlock. You get both of these on these phones except on the A32 5G, it is side mounted. Uh, with the fingerprint sensor, the A52 5G is under the display optical. Um, they are different, but they do the same thing. The fingerprint under the display optical is a little bit more contemporary versus the uh, fingerprint side mounted, which is not found on too many devices. Uh, but it's not as cool and futuristic as the under the display optical and then we come to uh, the battery you're getting a 5000 milliamp battery on the a32 5g you have 4500 milliamp battery on the a52 5g so the cheaper device is getting the bigger nice 5000 milliamp battery it will last you all day a52 5g has 4500 milliamps which is pretty good just not as good as the a32 both of these phones do come with a fast wireless or i'm sorry fast charging but the a32 only gets 15 watts while you get 25 watts on the a52 5g which will get you 50 percent in 30 minutes so when comparing the specs on both of these phones it is clear that the superior device is the a52 5g um there is a difference though you're paying a premium around 200 dollars both of these prices are very good they're both sub 600 dollar devices they both feature um basically what people need in a device nowadays very practical on both fronts so we get more ram better processor better screen quality on the a52 5g the a32 5g still offers a 4k video it has a quad camera set up on the on the back um, and you get that really big 5000 milliamp battery with fast charging and a side mounted fingerprint reader instead of the back um, it's it's you'll be happy with both of these devices but if you want to go a little bit more premium get on the a52 5g uh on that note guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next ones peace out